I think part of the problem is a problem that I have with pretty much everything, which is trying to make something special. Not being sure how I really feel about something and not trusting those feelings to be the best way to live. So right now I'm driving up this windy mountain road and I tell myself I love windy mountain roads, therefore I'm loving this. But am I? Or am I trying to? Am I trying to enjoy this? Am I afraid of not enjoying it? The trick is to not try to squeeze every drop of enjoyment out of it. Not to go, I'm supposed to feel something deep inside about this moment. I'm supposed, this is supposed to be meaningful. It's supposed to be making an impact. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be appreciative. Honor this place, this country, this moment in my life by making a monument to it, an altar by making it sacred, by feeling the sacredness of every moment. Well, <laughs> that's not working for me. That's not a free and easy way to get through life. And I think I prefer free and easy. <laughs> Can't be taking a piss. I don't think I was walking up that hill. So I'm going to share with you a lesson I'm learning right now on the fly as this is all happening. <laughs> and it's a lesson I've learned a thousand times. And this will be a thousand and one. And that's that wanting something to be meaningful doesn't make it meaningful. And needing something to be meaningful doesn't make it meaningful. Wanting something to be sacred, needing something to be sacred doesn't make it sacred. Feeling obligated and getting tense about it isn't going to help you see the beauty in something that you're having trouble appreciating. And it seems apropos that once I crested the summit and it's all downhill from here, that the struggle is over and it's all downhill from here. I don't know how many times I've learned this lesson. So many times. And look at this drive. This is amazing, this road, this scenery. Ooh, that is a hairpin. I just have to relax and let things be what they are. And if they mean something, then great. And if they don't, then that's fine. But something is flying around in my back seat. Maybe you can see it better than I can. When I don't realize that the meaning and the sacredness lives inside of me. I lose the option. That's my baklava. Oh shoot, that's not good. I lose the opportunity to see it outside of myself as well. But there's nothing to try to do. There's no one to try to be. There's nowhere to go. We already are everything that we've ever wanted to be and more. Woo, this little piece of garbage handles pretty good. Once it settles into its sway, it's side to side. Once it leans all the way over on its shoulder, it digs in. That is hilarious. It's exhausting. Trying to make things matter. Trying to see the beauty in things. Really what it is, is it's a judgment against myself every time I'm trying to do that. It's me wrapping myself on the knuckles, saying, you're not doing this right. You're not feeling this right. You're not absorbing this right. You're all the way over here in this place and you're not doing it right. You came all this way to do it wrong? Maybe, oh, kicking a dog, that's not cool. Maybe they weren't really kicking the dog, that's, that's not a, that's just a family pet. Otherwise I'm gonna have to punch a child. It's quite a relief to not need to find meaning, to stop looking for meaning, to stop looking for the sacred. Just let that go. 
So if you're willing to say that that's one more thing I'm not very good at. I don't know if I ever feel better than when I'm admitting and owning the idea that I am not good at stuff. I feel a whole lot better saying I'm not than trying to live up to saying I am. It seems my life keeps coming back to just letting go. Letting go of the rules. Letting go of the shoulds. It feels weird to learn something for this long and still not be very good at it. If you're in Kosovo and you think that there's going to be a sign that tells you a speed bump's coming up or paint on that speed bump, you are mistaken. You'll find none of those things. You are falling apart, sir. But that's all right. <laughs>